Am I the muggy for not inviting my step toxic stepmum to my wedding? Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of mugginess. I've been a counsellor for over 20 years and I specialise in personality disorders. I'll be pointing out red flags and speculating on what personality disorder the OP might be dealing with. Dear Agnes, I'm a 30 year old male and my wedding is 22 days away. I've been no contact with my dad's wife, they're both in their 60s because she's refused to apologise. He's just told me he's not coming. How can I salvage this? My stepmom, Deborah, is a narcissist. She has been a bully to my sister, who's 28, and me since they got together 18 years ago, and my dad has only enabled her. It's a 100% toxic relationship. She's extremely controlling and a bully to him. Two years ago on my birthday, she brought up something traumatic she did to me years before and bragged about it saying the abuse is the reason I'm successful. I was so angry. I worked with my psychiatrist to write a letter explaining my hurt and telling her that while I want a relationship with her, I need an apology to be able to move forward. She sent a letter back, blaming me for a bunch of stuff when I was a kid to justify her abuse and refusing to apologise. My response was, I'm sorry, I can't have a relationship if you don't respect me enough to apologise. My email inbox is open should you choose to apologise, but this is a hard boundary. Don't call or text. Since then, the only communication has been her attempts to ambush me by picking up my dad's phone when I call him, leaving me aggressive voicemails and texts or having my dad pressure me to meet her in person. I suffer from anxiety and direct contact with her would only trigger an attack. About a month ago, she stole my dad's phone and read through our private conversation. She then texted me from his phone. My dad was understandably annoyed and said he wanted a divorce and that and that same day she finally did email me one sentence. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings on your birthday. I responded also with one line. I appreciate the apology. Then nothing then again nothing from either of them. My dad left to get some space. As I mentioned, my wedding is in twenty two days. My dad emailed me two days ago with a long insulting letter. Too much to type out, but the highlights are boundaries are rude. I'm selfish. My psychiatrist is a joke. Debbie has been punished enough to get over it. How dare I send one line back to see Deborah's email? Deborah is the real victim. How dare I not invite his wife to my wedding? And obviously, I'm not coming to your wedding. To be clear, I've heard most of these brought up over the past two years and I have addressed them with him, but he just dismisses me as being angry and vindictive. As usual, he wants me to just make peace, even though it will be at the expense of my mental health. He will never hold her accountable. I'm in a healthy headspace, thanks to my psychiatrist and incredible fiancé, and I know that my boundary is healthy, and no amount of guilt tripping will make me feel bad about setting it. But how can I respond despite my intense anger over the letter? I still want him, but not her, at my wedding. I love my dad, and I'm so sad that one simple boundary is apparently enough to end our relationship. My reply. It sounds like your psychiatrist has explained what a narcissist is, but I wonder why they haven't explained to you the personality disorder that your dad has. Learning about people's personality disorders helps you heal. It must have driven you mad not knowing why your dad behaves like this and why he always puts such a toxic person before his children and lets her, let her mistreat his children. This makes him as toxic as her. Your dad sounds like he's got dependent personality disorder. It's very common and it's more common in women. Parents are supposed to protect their children as well as love them, but parents with dependent personality disorder can't do either. People with DPD will do anything not to lose their partner because they can't bear to be alone. They don't care if their kids get hurt. They're 100% selfish and it's impossible for them to put their need, their kids' needs first. I'm unsure why your psychiatrist would get you to send the letter you wrote to your stepmom. This is known as Gestalt therapy and was invented by Fritz Perls. When confronting a narcissist, nearly always makes matters worse. She was never going to apologise. The only reason you got the one-line apology was because she feared losing her grip on your dad when he demanded a divorce. Narcissists and psychopaths only apologise to manipulate. I'm sorry to say he will always choose Deborah over you and your sister. He'll be crawling back if Deborah dies first. 
You've tried so hard to mend your relationship, but you can't change him into the dad he should have been. You've got wonderful and supportive people in your life. You need to think hard whether you want someone like him too.